All right, this is a 2001 F550 with a 7.3, not charging at idle. I figured out what it is, and I'm going to tell you how to fix it. I'm gonna share a couple other things with you on how to make sure it works without burning anything else out. I learned this from the alternator rebuild guy and the guy that does resistors at uh, the electrical place called Norvac. So the problem is that there are two wires that come out of your alternator and one of them is supposed to be a constant 12 volt source from something like this from your battery. Now there's also another wire that comes from the inside of the truck that's supposed to be like an exciter wire. And so what this does, it excites the field so that it will actually charge. So you can see right now these batteries have a charge on them. This should be live at all time. This should, but this is the accessory. And if you take this and test it and it does not have 12 volts or voltage to it, your alternator won't charge. So this has to have power. Now I can't find where the power is coming out of my fuse box. All the fuses are good. So there's somewhere there's a short in this wire somewhere along the way in the harness. So I'm going to bypass it. This is where this next information comes in at. This thing is called a diode. And if you look on the body of it, it has a, like a white ring on it and it's directional. So that white ring goes to the alternator. So alter so the electricity comes through this diode and then it won't let it go back. So this runs on a five amp fuse, which the next thing is a pigtail connector. This will plug into the five amp fuse in the box that I'm going to remove. And then we'll plug two five amp fuses in here. One will run their original accessory and the other will run this wire which we're going to bypass and run all the way up to the alternator. We're going to put this in line with the ring pointing to the alternator and it's like a one-way check valve where current will flow through there, but it won't flow back into the fuse box. So it will overload it. The next thing is a 330 ohm flame-proof resistor. So this will limit the amount of ohms that go to it so if it does go to surge back it actually won't send too much back now that's what the alternator guy told me and norvac so what this will look like is this plugged into my fuse box and it doesn't matter which order if this is before or after into the diode into the resistor and then this will no longer be here we're going straight into the plug now from our fuse box if that has power from the fuse box, it only needs power when it's on. So when you turn the key off, this green wire does not need constant wire um, power in here. I guess otherwise you'll burn the field up while it's not running. So this needs to be off when the key is off. Uh, that's how to fix it. So if you have a reading on here and your alternator isn't working and you just want to test it, I wouldn't recommend it, even though that's what I did. I just hooked a hot wire directly from this to this and I saw it actually liven it up and start to charge it. So that's how to fix your um, truck if it's not charging or it's charging only at an idle and you, you know it's a new alternator and you know nothing's wrong with it if it's been tested. That's how to fix it.